Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So guys, uh, uh, in this particular tutorial, in this particular video today, I'm going to cover one very, very important topic. The topic name is encapsulation or data hiding. Encapsulation is also called data hiding. So what is the purpose of encapsulation and why we use, uh, why do we use encapsulation and what is the exact implementation of encapsulation what are the advantages of encapsulation? We will cover those things. Encapsulation is one of the properties of, uh, you know, one of the feature or one of the characteristics of object-oriented programming language. So in Java tutorial, we have covered abstraction, we have covered interfaces, we have covered polymorphism, we have covered inheritance, right? So one of the factor is that is called encapsulation. Okay, so what do you mean by encapsulation? So quickly, I'll show uh, one diagram for you guys. Let me open that. So encapsulation means, guys, to hide your data members. Okay, to hide your data members. What do you mean by data members? Data members. Data members means it can be a method, it can be a variable. So we define the variable as a static in nature. I mean, private in nature, so that from outside of the class, no one can access it. Okay. So that's why this is also called data hiding. We are just hiding the actual implementation okay that what kind of actual implementation is available in that particular class so that from outside of the world no one can see that because we will declare as private variable right so encapsulation simply means the binding your fields and the methods together encapsulate means combine the binding okay that's why this is called data binding as well right so let's see i have this particular class i have one class is available let's see my class name is uh, you know employee class employee class is there so this particular class having some different standard methods or variables one or two or three or four methods four variables are there let's see and all are private variables and some methods are available okay one two and three four methods are available so these variables I'll declare as private variables. Let's see some very uh, secured information I don't want to share to outside of the world, right? So in that case, I'll declare these variables as private variables and I'll declare some getter and setter method, okay? So that I can access and I can set the value from outside of the class as well. So let's see one guy is sitting over here as a user, okay? Number of users are available over here, this user, okay? trying to access these variables directly they cannot access it they just need to call these uh, okay call these uh, methods okay from here to here and these method will call these variables okay so that we will get through these method we will get the information about okay all these variables but we don't know what exactly the actual implementation they have done internally right so that's why for security point of view for uh, hacking uh, prevention point of view we use encapsulation encapsulation is also called data hiding it means no outside class no one from the outside class can access the private data members private data members i'm talking about here is private data variables of the class okay no one can access it let's say i can give you an example that social security number or very confidential information or maybe your account number i'll declare as a private variable in this particular class right so if you really want to access it or you want to uh, just get it, just get through these methods. But what exactly the actual implementation, the actual logic I have written inside the class, inside the methods, okay, the outside this particular user, external user, they won't be able to see it. They won't be able to access and they won't be able to change it also. Okay, like that. So, so this is called encapsulation. And we will talk about private property also that, okay, in this particular uh, concept in encapsulation that what do you mean by private as well right so let's create the same thing in terms of java so what i'll do i'll simply create a class let's see my class name is uh, employee data and uh, select the main method click on finish and what i'm going to do inside this particular employee data Class, I'll declare three instance variable or three class variable. Let's see, and all these variables are private variables. So private, let's see, int SSN number, okay? And then I'll declare 
variable that is string employee name right ssn number means so social security number or something like that and uh, i'll declare one more variable let's see private int employee age right so these are the three uh, private variables two integer two integers and one string variable i have created now i have to define these are called private data variables okay fine now i have to define some getter and setter getter and setter methods i have to define so how to create getter and setter directly so you just need to right click over here and simple go to uh, go to source and you can see that getter and setters right so click on generate getter and setter for all the variables i want to create getter getter and setter and uh, these getter and setter will be public in nature because if you declare them private then no one can access these methods okay within the class only i can access but i want that okay these getter and setter for all these private variables can x can be accessed from out of the world as well so click on okay so you will see that number of uh, i'll declare like this okay so getter and setter methods got created automatically so no need to write the code getter and setter simple you can generate directly from the source so if you see for ssn we have this get method and we have set method so inside the set method we can okay uh, set this particular method we will pass one ssn number and this dot ssn means this dot particular global variable is equal to whatever the local variable that we are passing over here same thing for get employee name so we have first we will set and then we will get same thing for get employee age first we will set and then we will get the same age that we are declaring we are sending to this particular method right now what i'm going to do so always remember the example of encapsulation in java how to implement encapsulation in java so to implement encapsulation in java the first thing is that you have to so the concept here is that how to implement okay encapsulation how to implement encapsulation encapsulate mean encapsulation mean encapsulate in a particular capsule in a particular class entity okay encapsulation okay okay so what we have to do first make the instance variable private so that they cannot be accessed directly from outside of the class okay so private data variables we have to create so that okay these i'm writing the notes for you guys so that these variables cannot be accessed directly from outside the class okay directly from outside the class so this is the first step that we have to create right second thing what we have to do that uh, you have to create getter and setter so this is the second step that we have to create that getter and setter method in the class to set and get the values of the fields to set and get the values of the fields fields means these particular fields three variables are there right so this is how we implement encapsulation now let's test this particular encapsulation that uh, what i'm going to do in this particular main method I'll do one thing that uh, I'll create the object of because I have to access these methods. So I have to create the object of this particular class because these are non-static. So I have to create the object simple obj or let's see emp is equal to new okay class name. And then what I'm going to do, I'll set all these variables, okay, the variables value by using this emp.setSSN. Or let's see first i'll get the employee name i'll set the employee name is let's see my employee name is uh, 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 let's see instead of naveen let's write some proper name tom okay tom peter i'll write emp dot i'll set the age okay set employee age and employee age in 
let's see employee age is 25 okay that is an interior variable and employee dot we have SSN number so set SSN so we have to provide the SSN number and SSN number let's see some six digit number I'm writing that okay uh, one two three four five six some six digit number let's see something I'm passing over here right so I have set the value okay so what exactly it will happen employee dot set employee name so employee name it will jump to employee name it will give Tom Peter and this this Tom Peter will be given to this particular variable so variable of this employee name see guys, this employee name is a local variable of the set employee method set employee name method right but this is a global variable global variable means this is a not global variable actually this is a class variable the instance variable so both the variable name is same so that's why we have to differentiate with this keyword that this dot class variable is equal to local variable so this always remember whenever we have to use this keyword we have to use like this this dot class variable is equal to local variable and local variable the value we have passed Tom Peter will be given to this guy will be given to this guy and this guy Tom Peter will be given to this class variable so this dot class variable is equal to local variable so employee name the class variable will be set to Tom Peter now so the value of employee name will be Tom Peter now I just need to get the value so I'll just print on the console system dot out dot print let's see I'll write like this employee name is uh, emp dot get name right so we will call this method emp dot get employee name so get employee name will return this employee name and employee name is what the class variable that we have already okay set it to tom peter because we are passing tom peter to this guy tom peter from this guy to class variable and we are returning the class variable only so we will get tom peter over here so let's see let's run this program and let's see it is working or not so run as java application and you will see the employee name is tom peter same thing we will get the age and ssn number as well system.out.println let's see i'm printing the ssn number or let's see the age employee age is emp dot get employee age so let's see are we getting the employee age or not so yes employee age is 25 same thing for we are printing it for ssn number employee ssn is employee dot get ssn so let's see we are getting the SSN or not? Yes, so we are getting SSN 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 as well. Right? So this is how we achieve okay the encapsulation. So encapsulation in this particular example that we have seen, the three data members are there, or we call three data fields are there: SSN number, employee name, and employee age. Right? And we are using the access modifier as private so that outside of the class no one can access okay from outside the class no one can access these private variables if you really want to access these private variables we need to define the getter and setter right we need to define the getter and setter over here so you just set the value and get the value set the value and get the value this is the property of getter and setter right so in this example, we have seen three private variables which cannot be accessed directly. These variables can be accessed via public methods. So always remember getter and setter will be public always. If you create your getter and setter private, then within the class only you have to access. Then what is the purpose? From outside of the class, you have to call these methods instead of these variables. So always remember in encapsulation, variables should be declared as private and the getter and setter should be declared as private so that by using this private methods we will call these private methods so that we can access these okay we will call these public methods so that we can access these private variables i'll repeat in encapsulation we declared private variables and the public getter and setter so that from outside the class we will call these public get method and we will call this public set method to set the value and we will again call this get method to get the value as a public because this is public in nature 
and then we can access from outside of the class also and we can access all the private variables so this is the property of encapsulation right now what are the advantages of okay encapsulation it improves the maintain, maintenance of the code the flexibility and the reusability right let's see in this particular example the implementation code of set employee name or set ssn security name okay can be changed at any point of time we can change the logic internally but from outside the world the external user will never see what exactly the implementation how many variables and what are other variables are available the private variables are available okay so this is this information is hidden right and you can change the implementation of all these getter and setter anytime so it will give you a very good amount of uh, flexibility and the maintenance of the code as well as the reusability as well right another advantage is that these variables can be always read only okay can be made read only if you don't define setter method i want i don't want to use set method i don't want to use the i don't want to set any method from outside the world so we can we can have only get method private get method so that you can access these uh, variables that's it from outside the class but okay if you don't define the getter getter method or setter method if you really don't want to do that just don't declare set method we just declare the get method so that we can access it right apart from that external user will never be knowing that what is going on behind the scene right how many private variables are there and how exactly the declaration and everything they would only be knowing that to update a field okay using the set method and to read that particular variable using the get method okay is totally hidden from them so what exactly the implementation how many variables are there is totally hidden to them that's why encapsulation is also called data hiding okay guys always remember encapsulation is also called data hiding so don't be confused that people may ask might ask at a time of interview what do you mean by data hiding so encapsulation is also called data hiding okay okay one more thing guys it's not compulsory to define getter and setter always it's up to you if you don't define any getter and setter just declare private data variables so from outside the class no one can access it right so to provide the very high level security now assume that ssn employee name and employee age or account number or account or employee salary all these variables are publicly defined anyone can access these information right so to provide the very uh, some high level security in java okay we use encapsulation because you can hide and you can restrict access to critical data members critical data variables okay in your class which are defined which improves the security okay it's not compulsory to define this okay getter and setter but if you really want to access those private members those private variables in that case only you have to define public getter and setter method so i would say public getter and setter method you have to define to access okay private variables right so this is the advantage of encap so these are the different advantages security is one of the advantage of encapsulation and this is how we implement the encapsulation and is also called data hiding so that's all for today guys with respect to encapsulation and encapsulation is part of uh, one last point i would add over here encapsulation is part of object oriented programming language okay oops concept so there are three object oriented programming concept that is called pi factor we say polymorphism inheritance and encapsulation so encapsulation is one of the thing okay so thank you so much for watching this particular video guys and uh, let me know if you have any issues this is my channel name Naveen automation labs please subscribe to the channel and uh, please press the bell icon to get the notification for the future videos thank you so much thanks for watching guys